So there's two terminologies. The first, the equivalent. Oh, why is it there? The equivalence point is the point which the, the point which the exact theoretical the exact theoretical amount of titrant. has been added to completely react. Theoretical amount of titrant has been added to completely react with the sample. Now the end point, if you think about it, it's almost like going a little bit beyond the equivalence point because before it changes and keeps as like the permanent pink color, theoretically the equivalence point is right before that. Because it's like just the amount to make the reaction fully happen, then the end point is the color change. Okay, so end, you think end point color change. So the end point is where the tie trend reacts completely reacts completely with the sample and a sudden permanent color change sudden permanent color change happens and the permanent is the, the key thing, right? Because remember how if I dropped it and it looked like it was going to stay pink and then I swirled it a little bit and it went away? So it's like when, it, when it's pink and it won't, it won't go back, right? Now you need a minimum of three trials oops, within 0 0.20 milliliters of each other to ensure your results are accurate. If you have a result that is more, or like that is more than 0.2 milliliters, like apart from each other, you that's called like your outlier, and you don't include it in your data. That's pretty important. So anything that's not within that minimum 0.2, you don't include. meet at the end point. There's me doing titrations. Okay. <clears throat> what did I give? Do you are you on to your example now? What are you on? Uh, how do I do a titration? Oh, okay, good. How do I do a titration anyway? Okay, so go to page 804. 